Ah, you fell asleep. Are you feeling okay? Are you comfortable? Do you think you need any anything that can assist you with, like a food or water? Yeah, you okay? I think I can order food for you if you want. It's not a problem, okay? Just tell me if you need anything, okay? Oh, hello, dog. Yes, uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon, good afternoon. So, how's my sister there now? Um, she's in recovery and uh -huh. we just need to observe her for some time. We think by tomorrow she should have recovery. Okay, okay. Right. Alright. How are you doing, sis? Feel good. And then, uh, so probably like when we should be discharged. What are we going tomorrow morning or this evening? Let's say tomorrow morning for it to be safe. But to, to be safe, okay. let's say tomorrow morning. Because for now she's still under um, observation mm -hmm. to see if there's any change. That will occur in her body so far, okay. and let's observe her and also give her time for proper recovery. Alright, okay. okay, thank you very much. You Please will. help me do all you can. This is my one and only lovely sister. I don't drop with her, please. But she's on that good care. I, I promise you, you, you're going to give her the utmost care we can. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You don't have to, don't have to panic. Okay, okay. she's in the best hands ever. What's wrong with you? Ever since this girl came to this hospital, my thinking has not remained the same. I keep thinking about this girl every given moment. Is this love or what? I think I should talk to her. I think I should tell her how I feel about her. Or is it a professional? Um, I should not. I should not go directly. Maybe I should go through one of the nurses. Ah, no, no. It doesn't make sense going through the nurse. I'm a man. Whether professional or unprofessional, I have a feeling. I think she won't understand if I talk to her directly. So that's what I'll do. I'll talk to her directly. And Miss Hope. Okay, sir. How are you feeling today? Fine, sir. Okay, so uh, you are fully recovered, right? Yeah, yes. Uh, all right. Um, can I know more about you? Mm, well, I still have my elder brother. The guy you just met. Yeah. So we put a first day together. Okay. Um, there's something I've been wanting to tell you. You see, ever since you were admitted to this hospital, I have been having this um, strong and sincere feelings towards you. I think I'm really in love with you. And I can't help it because wherever I go, everything I'm doing, I keep having this image of your face in my head and I feel so distracted, so I just want to tell you how I feel. Do you mind if I get to know more about you? Mm -hmm. Well, I stay with my older brother. The guy that just left him. Uh... What about your parents? Um, our parents are late. I'm so sorry about that. Do you have a boyfriend? No, I don't. Oh, okay. What do you think if at all I become your boyfriend? Sir, I know I'm not fully recovered. I'm still the hospital. I can't guarantee you that I'm fine. I'm not fine. You know what? Just. Leave your health condition to me. I am the medical practitioner here, and I can certify with a hundred percent assurance that you are medically fit. Okay, so you don't need to worry about your health. I will take care of you. 
I'll make sure you're properly taken care of. If you don't mind, can we go to my office so we can have a private time where we can talk more about this? Such a beautiful lady, you know that. Your hands are so soft. God, your hands are so soft. Thank you. And your lips, God. You have such beautiful lips. Do you know what? What about we go into my consultation room for private consultation? It's free of charge. Come on, don't worry about that. Okay. I'll take care of you. You know. We had some complications mm. during our treatment, okay? Okay, sir. What? It wasn't our fault, okay? Okay, sir. There were some living complications involved. Okay. You know what to say now. Yes, sir. You're not the kid in this room. Yes, sir. I'm coming. Okay. Just take over. What can I do this? This is how. What will I be the one to do this? I go, baby. No, what are you doing? No, 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 no. What are you doing, nurse? What are you doing? What happened to my sister? Just have to take it easy. Uh, what happened to my sister, nurse? Get hold of yourself. You're a man, okay? No, I love my sister. She was healthy earlier when I came here. Yes. She was very healthy. Yes. What happened, nurse? Sorry. Talk to you. What happened to my calm sister, nurse? Calm down, calm down. my sister. We lost her. No, no, no. You lost me, you lost me, nurse. What happened to my sister, nurse? Calm down. Talk to me. What happened to my sister, nurse? We lost her. Actually, 
No, there was a complication, okay? Complication. Was, yes, there was a complication. And Boss, my we, sister. We, we, we go 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 go. Go. Yes, doctor. It wasn't really Let's the doctor. doctor. You see, man proposes, but God disposes. She was, she was feeling alright. You saw it yourself. Yes, yes, yes she yes. was feeling alright. Yes, but she had some underlying alignment in her, hidden alignments, which we did not, we were not able to diagnose on time. We, we, would, we would not have seen this, but the problem is that uh, we thought she was having a full recovery. We thought she was having a full recovery when she had a cardiac arrest due to, due to the underlying she had and you see we tried our best as medical professionals and we used the the brefilation method of treatment we used the cpr we used all forms of resuscitation method on her but she could not make it my brother she gave up the ghost so um, just calm down okay and i'm just telling you all this normally i should not tell you this but you just have to take heart my brother okay just take heart we know we know that this is a, a huge grief to you but my condolence to you and your family just take heart my brother okay So so all you care about is, is your medical no, store, the job and what about me? What about me that is gone? What about, gone? Gone. What about my brother? What do, how do you want him to go? Just go and tell them the truth. I believe you are in a happy place, right? You're in heaven. You're in a good place. You're rest in peace. No, no. I can never rest in peace until you tell them what happened to me. Not rest in peace. You need to rest in peace. Come on. You have to be with me also. You change the soul. Come on. You love you me. You love me. You love me. Just as much as I love you. I'm professional. I'm a medical doctor. I save lives. I was going to save your life. Mm -hmm. I, I, I made you alright. Do you remember? I made you feel well. Go and tell them the truth. Thank you. 
What is the problem? What is going on? Doctor, please. Sir, you need to say the truth. That girl that died. She's been hunting everyone. She's been tormenting us. She's been... Sir, please. Say the truth. You need to confess to her brother. You need to confess to her brother so that we can be free. So please, I beg you. Say the truth. Please, sir. Come. The truth remains whatever I say the truth is. And I say she died of a cardiac arrest. It remains that way. Do you understand what you're asking me to do? That I should have told the whole world that I was responsible for her death. Do you understand yourself? Do you understand that my reputation as a medical doctor is at stake? My medical license is at stake? My dignity and integrity is at stake? Do you even know that you are an accomplice to, to what happened to her? So me? Yes. I am not accomplice. I am not an accomplice to whatever it is you have done to her. I am not part of this. I am not part of this. But what did you ask me to do? Help you? Tell her nothing more. So please do not involve me in whatever it is you have done to that girl. Please, I beg you. I beg you, sir. Confess. Yes, Just confess and let us all be free. Let us all be free. This is all I ask. This is all I am begging, sir. Please, sir. See, 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 see. The truth is out of it. It's out of it. The truth remains that he died of a cardiac arrest. So I don't know why you're panicking. Whatever is chasing you, better not chase you and enter in this office. Let me stop there. Okay? Our advice will go maybe I need to pastor to pray for you. But for what I say, it's not going to be possible, okay? It's not going to be possible, please. I was busy when you came in. I was busy when you came in. You saw that. It was you and I who took her, covered her debts. We both covered up her debts. What is this? Hey, what is going on here? What is this? What, 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 what's up? What's happening? Sir. Sir. What is going on? Someone died in 
this hospital, and ever since she's been chasing us. Dr. Cruz, even you running? What is going on? Why are you running? Oh my God. Can somebody tell me what is going on here? Somebody died, and you guys are running? I don't understand. How? Where? On who's, who's on duty? What? What is going on? Dr. Cruz? Yes. What is going on? I don't know what you are talking about. So that's not true. You know exactly what you are talking about. You know what you are talking about. Hmm. Sir, ever since she left the hospital, a patient was admitted here and she died. And ever since then, she has been chasing us. You guys that have experienced it, you have also experienced it. Sir, the patient slapped me. He stood back and front. Ma! Yes. Ma! Yes. I guess this is a prank they are trying to pull on me. Because this is the third time these nurses ha have made me run like this. Eh? The first time, the shouting goes ghost, I stay running. Second time, goes ghost, I stay running. I think they are trying to play a prank on me or something, something like that. Well, uh, young man. So, we're having a we're having a meeting. You're welcome back. Okay, see your greetings. I was told to ask you what happened to my sister. You were told to ask me what happened to your sister? Yes. Who was the one that asked you to, to inform me? Must we hear did? She was one who informed you to come to meet me and ask me what happened to your sister. Yes. Must we you? I did. Young yes, man, you were there yesterday when I informed you on how your sister died. We did everything possible in our powers to make her better, but she had a cardiac arrest. We tried all means of resuscitation, but she gave up the ghost. It was never our fault she died. Sir! Dr. Cruz, that is not true! That is not true! Why not open your mouth and confess? Tell everybody what happened! Why does not know what happened to the, 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 the lady? Eh? And the fact of this trauma! Uh, Dr. Cruz, I think there's only thing you need me to know. She say it right here now. So that we can find a solution, then we're always beating around the bush. Well, I think you guys are joking here. You guys must be joking. You're not serious. Sir, do you want me to tell the truth? Sir, come and say the truth. Mary. Sir. Mary. Sir. Mary. Sir. Mary. Mary. Sir. Sir, please. I really have a confession to make. The real cause of your sister's death, it wasn't due to a cardiac arrest. Yeah. Truth be told, in all honesty and sincerity, I cared so deeply for your sister. In fact, we cared for ourselves. I loved her and she loved me too. I know you might be wondering how this came to be under the space of two days. But in all honesty and sincerity, I truly loved your sister. I should have known better the health status of your sister before we had such fun that led to her death. I should have known that her body was not so strong to handle such, such an affair. Please, I am so sorry. I know what I have done is so evil in the sight of man and in the sight of God, please. Do Dr. Sam. Please, Dr. Smart, serve as a witness. Please forgive me, my brother. Please, sir, forgive me. Thank you so much. Dr. Smart, please help me. Help, help me beg. Please, I'm not interested. Okay, please don't. Beautiful, mm -hmm. like a goddess. <laughs> That's the reason I brought you to this office to spoil you. Really? Yes, darling. <laughs> See what you've got. 
Oh my. Oh, for you. Oh, my baby. I love you.